Welcome to the Creative Huxa. In this video, we will create a retro cassette tape illustration in Affinity Designer. Go to File, New, and create a document with the following properties. Select Web. Set the document size to 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Then check Create Artboard. Grab the rectangle tool from the tools panel. Draw a rectangle and set the fill color to black. Now take the rectangle tool again and draw a rectangle on top of the previous rectangle we created. Set the fill color to white. Go to the toolbar and select align center from the alignment panel to align both rectangles to each other from the center. Select the black rectangle. Go to the context toolbar and set the corner to round it. Then set the percentage to 5%. After that, select the white rectangle. Go to the context toolbar and set the corner to round it with a percentage of 5%. Grab the rectangle tool again. This time, draw a rectangle in the center of the white rectangle and set the fill color to black. With the rectangle still selected, go to the context toolbar. Set the corner to round it and set the percentage to 3%. Next, go to the Tools panel and select the Ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse off to the side of the tape. Hold Ctrl and Shift while drawing the ellipse so that it has the same width and height. Then, with the ellipse selected, press Shift and X to change the fill color to the stroke color. Go to the stroke panel and set the width of the stroke to 10 points. In the stroke panel, set the style of the ellipse to dashed line style. Next, adjust the width of the stroke to 14 points. Then go to the dash and set the second box to 2 to add space between the dashed lines. Take the dashed ellipse and place it on the black rectangle that's on top. Set the stroke color to white. Now, grab the ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse over the dashed ellipse. In the stroke panel, change the style back to solid line style. Then, in the swatches panel, set the stroke color to the following color. Grab the ellipse tool again. Draw a small ellipse inside of the dashed ellipse. Make the fill color of this ellipse white. Select all three of the ellipses. Press Ctrl plus G to group them together. With the ellipse group still selected, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the group or right click on the group and select duplicate. Now, select the duplicated group. Hold Shift and drag the group to the right of the original ellipse group. Next, select both of the ellipse groups. In the Layers panel, drag the groups inside of the black rectangle that they're already on. Grab the Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle between the two ellipse groups. With the rectangle still selected, go to the context toolbar and set the corner to round it. Then set the percentage to 3%. Go to the tools panel and select the ellipse tool. While drawing the ellipse, hold Ctrl plus Shift so that the width and height of the ellipse will be equal. Set the fill color of the ellipse to black. Place it on top of the left group of ellipses. With the ellipse still selected, hold Ctrl plus Shift. Then, with the Move tool, drag a copy of the ellipse to the right. Make the ellipse on the left slightly bigger so that the top and the bottom touch the white rectangle. Hold Ctrl plus Shift while resizing the ellipse. Select the main rectangle of the tape. Change the fill color to 202020 to make it a lighter shade of black. Now, select both of the big ellipses and the small white rectangle between the ellipses. Hold Shift to select more than one object. Then, go to the toolbar and select Divide from the Boolean Operations panel. 
After that, select the two bigger parts of the ellipses and delete them. In the Layers panel, select the rectangle that's housing the two ellipse groups. Set the fill color to the same color as the main big rectangle, which is 202020. Grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Draw a rectangle on the bottom part of the tape. Set the stroke color to... Then set the fill color to... Go to the stroke panel and set the width to two points. Select the rectangle. Go to the context toolbar and select convert to curves. Then, with the rectangle still selected, grab the node tool from the tools panel. Now, grab the top left node of the rectangle and drag it slightly to the right. After that, grab the top right node and drag it slightly to the left. Select both of the nodes. Hold Shift to select them both. Grab the Corner tool from the Tools panel. Then, in the Context toolbar, set the radius to 5 pixels. Now, grab the Ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse on the rectangle we just drew on the left side. Make sure you get rid of the stroke and set the fill color to... Select the ellipse. Hold Ctrl plus Shift and drag a copy of the ellipse to the right side. Then, take the ellipse tool again. Draw two smaller ellipses beside the ones we just created. Let's add a background color to our tape before we finish with the cassette tape. Grab the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle that covers the entire artboard. Then, give the rectangle a fill color of your choosing. I chose the following color. With the rectangle still selected, go to the toolbar and select Move to Back to place the rectangle behind our cassette tape. After that, select the white rectangle piece that's in the middle. Give it the same fill color as our background. Grab the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle over the center part of the tape. Set the fill color to With the rectangle still selected, go to the Layers panel and drag the rectangle above the white rectangle. Now, grab the Rectangle tool again. Draw a thin rectangle on the white part of the tape at the top. Set the fill color of the rectangle to... Press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of this rectangle. Then, hold Shift and drag the duplicated rectangle slightly down below the original one. After that, go to the Tools panel and grab the Artistic Text tool. Place it on the left part of the tape and type the letter B. This represents the B side of the tape. I set the font to Arial Regular. With the Artistic Text tool still active, type 90. Place it under the green rectangle. Use the same font you use for the letter B. Grab the arrow tool from the Tools panel. Draw an arrow on the bottom part of the white rectangle in the middle. Set the fill color of the arrow to the same color as the green rectangle. If the arrow is not showing, select Move to Front from the toolbar to place the arrow at the top. Grab the Artistic Text tool again. Type 80s Mixtape on the small rectangle we created at the top of the tape. Go to the Font family and change the text to the permanent marker font you downloaded. And this is how you create a retro cassette tape illustration in Affinity Designer. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.